everyone loves TV Dad. On the next TV Dad, presented by Progressive, TV Dad meets the prom date. So you're here to take my daughter out, huh? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Now, I'm only going to say this once. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say take care of my little girl or something. <laughs> She's a kickboxer. She could take care of herself. Listen to your TV dad. Drivers who switch and save with Progressive could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Do you think seeing a therapist or psychiatrist would be helpful, but you don't have the time to actually find one and meet with them or afford them? Try our sponsor, Talkspace the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, substance abuse, relationship issues, and much more. At Talkspace.com, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. It's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort of your home. Plus, Talkspace lets you send messages to your therapist too so you don't have to wait for your next session if you need to reach them sooner. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off of your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash optimal. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash optimal to get $100 off of your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash optimal. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2096, Beetroot Juice for Endurance Performance by Aidan Muir of idealnutrition.com.au. And I'm Dr. Neil, your very own personal narrator. Welcome to another edition of Optimal Health Daily. This is one of just a few podcasts in the world where blogs are read to you. And on this show, you get the added bonus of hearing my commentary at the end. Oh, and another bonus. On Fridays, I answer your questions. Now to check out our other shows, just search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this. And with that, let's get to today's post and start optimizing your life. Beetroot Juice for Endurance Performance by Aidan Muir of idealnutrition.com.au One of the more interesting foods that's been gaining traction over the last few years is beetroot juice. Oftentimes, people, particularly endurance athletes, will spend a lot of time and money on things that may or may not work in the hopes of a small increase in performance. At the top level, this small increase in performance can make a big difference in outcomes. Most supplements do not live up to the hype, but it looks like beetroot juice could be an exception to that since it consistently seems to help people improve their performance. That being said, there is a bit of a nuance to the topic. It certainly is not a magical supplement guaranteed to help you dramatically improve your time on, say, an endurance race. How it theoretically works. The way beetroot juice works is through the effects of nitrates. Nitrates are typically found in vegetables and they mainly act by vasodilation and improved blood flow. To confirm that nitrates are the key factor in why performance is improved, one study removed nitrates from beetroot juice and found that the benefits also disappeared, highlighting that nitrates are in fact key. While we have a clear outcome in terms of improved performance, the mechanism through which this improved performance comes is still debated. For now, the accepted belief is that beetroot juice reduces the energy cost for movement, which improves efficiency, and that there is enhanced muscle metabolic function, which also leads to less muscular fatigue during exercise. Research on beetroot juice and endurance performance. There are quite a few studies on beetroot juice, and the research is at the point that there are now clear situations where we know it's beneficial. Like most areas of sports performance, though, there are still plenty of areas in regard to beetroot juice that require more study. One notable study highlighted that runners who consumed a shot of beetroot juice pre race cut 1.5% off their 5 kilometer time. Now, this may not sound massive but most of the best sports supplements will provide a performance boost of up to 1-2% to in terms of race time. So a boost like this is definitely worthwhile considering. Although time to exhaustion trials can have the major flaw that they are not exactly relevant to actual endurance sports like running, cycling, or swimming, 
Another study on cycling showed a 16% improvement in time to exhaustion. It can also have applications for potentially improving sprint performance and higher repetition strength training. And lastly, since single studies can paint a misleading picture, there is a meta-analysis of 23 beetroot juice studies highlighting that beetroot juice consistently improves performance in endurance events. Potential lack of effect in some cases. The most common argument people seem to have against beetroot juice is that it might be less effective in elite athletes than it is in novice athletes. From an optimistic perspective, at least that means if you're new to the endurance game, you're likely going to see great improvements from taking beetroot juice. There are a few studies showing no benefit to beetroot juice, such as one performed on well-trained cyclists doing a 50-mile time trial. In this case, the authors speculated that the better training status of the elite athletes might reduce the physiological and performance responses to beetroot juice. Along those lines, other folks have speculated that top-level athletes have already maximized whatever physiological mechanisms that are improved via beetroot juice. Others have speculated that beetroot juice is still beneficial for elite athletes, but perhaps higher dosages are required. For example, in this study on well-trained cyclists consuming high dosages of beetroot juice, there was a benefit. Side effects. There are minimal side effects to beetroot juice supplementation. A small percentage of people find that it can change the color of their urine to a red or pink color, but that's about it. Beyond that, there are probably only two downsides of it. One, it can taste pretty awful to some people. It's not uncommon for people to try it pre-training and then leave them feeling a bit nauseated. As with most supplements, since the performance improvement from the supplement is not massive, any clear detriments like nausea could potentially outweigh the benefits. And two, it can be quite expensive. In Australia, the most commonly recommended source of concentrated beetroot juice is a brand called Beat It, which appears to often be around $5 a shot, even when purchased in bulk. So price is certainly a factor here for many people. If money's not an issue, then that second point is not really valid. In terms of taste, I've heard people say, hey, if I could take a shot of tequila, I can handle a shot of beet juice, which is also a valid point. If it just tastes bad but does not impact your performance with nausea, I would wager most athletes striving for optimal results would be willing to make that sacrifice. Dosage and timing. The ideal dosage appears to be around 5 to 7 millimoles of nitrate for most people, taken around 3 hours before training. This equates to roughly 250 to 300 grams of nitrate-rich vegetables per day. The effects typically take 30 minutes to be noticeable, and they peak after 90 minutes, and last for up to 6 to 8 hours. This equates to 500 milliliters of regular beetroot juice or 70 milliliters of beet it, which is a more concentrated version. It's also worth noting that taking beetroot juice daily for 3 to 4 days actually improves its effectiveness even more than an acute dose. Arguably, it would make sense to do that instead of just a one-off dose. But the effects seem to plateau after about 6 days. The final thing to be aware of is that you must not brush your teeth or use mouthwash right after taking beetroot juice. This can block the conversion of nitrates to nitrites, which also blocks the effectiveness of the supplement. Other food sources of nitrates. It is possible to consume this amount of nitrate for performance-enhancing benefits through food. The main challenge is that in some circumstances, the total volume of food could potentially be too much to be feasible or could take away from the opportunity to reach other dietary goals. Another point is that the nitrate content of foods, including beetroot, can be highly variable. This is actually also an issue in the supplemental form of beetroot juice. Research has shown that even selecting multiple copies of the same brand and product can potentially have a large difference in their actual nitrate content. Is it worth taking beetroot juice? The way I would view it is if you're in a position where a 1-2% to improvement in your performance is worth the time, money, taste, and all the other variables involved in this, I think it's worthwhile trying it. If it either negatively impacts your performance due to nausea, which is less likely to be an issue the further away from your training or competition you space it out, or the cost of investment is not worth it, then I would likely not recommend it. If you are an outlier who does not seem to benefit, 
the worst case scenario is that you have just consumed an antioxidant and nutrient-rich drink that can have other benefits as well. So that's a positive too. You just listened to the post titled Beetroot Juice for Endurance Performance by Aiden Muir of idealnutrition.com.au. Gotta love that spring energy at Whole Foods Market. Dive into tropical favorites like pineapple, a variety of juicy citrus, and it's the best time of year for mangoes. Make it a wallet happy spring by shopping dried fruit, sparkling water, and more from 365 by Whole Foods Market. Prime members save daily on prepared foods, go-tos, and sweets from the bakery department. So you can spend less time in the kitchen and more time outside. Spring back to life at Whole Foods Market. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Just as today's author Aiden said, this is one of those situations where the benefits of using beets or beetroot juice to improve your endurance performance may outweigh the risks. As Aiden pointed out, besides the taste and possible nausea, there's very little risk. The catch here is if we're taking a supplemental form of beetroot. That's because supplements may contain impurities or, as Aiden said, they may not contain the right formulation or right amounts of actual beetroot to make any difference. But if we, say, buy our own beets, boil them, blend them ourselves, you know, making our own homemade version of beetroot juice, then we can be sure that it's in its purest form. And now, there's very little risk to trying it out to see if it will improve our endurance because we just made a homemade version and we know exactly what went in it, pure beets. And again, another added benefit is even if it doesn't improve your performance, you're getting in a serving of vegetables. And that's always a nice benefit. All right, that'll do it for another edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your day and be sure to tune in again tomorrow where I'll have another post for you and where your optimal life awaits.